Hello everybody, welcome to this video. So my name is Mark and I'm here with Sai. Hi folks, I'm Sai. I'm the CEO and co-founder of PeerDB. And we've also got Riyad. Hi everyone, Riyad from the integrations team. Okay, so Riyad, do you want to let everybody know what are we doing here today? Yeah, so today is a special day because uh, we are announcing that uh, we're joining forces with PeerDB, a uh, change data capture provider or CDC for short, focused on Postgres as a data source. And this is a pretty big news because this is something that will provide a lot of value to our users. Cool. And so Sai, uh, what, what's your perspective about uh, joining forces with ClickHouse? We are very excited at PeerDB to be joining forces with uh, ClickHouse. And uh, there are a bunch of reasons. Number one, like it's a natural evolution for PeerDB because we have a bunch of users already uh, using PADB to replicate data from Postgres to uh, ClickHouse. And uh, this ac acquisition would make PADB accessible to thousands of ClickHouse customers, generating, you know, tremendous amount of value. So that is number one. The second is, I believe that like Postgres and ClickHouse are a match made in heaven uh, because like you have Postgres on one side, which is becoming the de facto like transactional operational database. And you have ClickHouse on the other side, which uh, is the fastest analytical database on the planet, right? And both of them are uh, from the same ethos of open source. So for a developer who uses Postgres uh, to build their like transactional system of record application, ClickHouse is the natural counterpart for like uh, uh, running analytics, right? And this acquisition would uh, bridge this gap further because uh, users will be able to now replicate data seamlessly from Postgres to ClickHouse and offload analytics, right? And the third is we are very excited to also uh, join uh, the team because like PeerDB and ClickHouse teams, uh, like there is alignment of culture. We have been working with them since past like couple of months. And we believe that because of this, uh, we can create something magical for customers. So yeah, overall very excited. Cool. And so Riyad, you obviously work with lots of different data sources in your, in your work. What, what is it about Postgres that is particularly special? It's an interesting question. So last week, the Stack Overflow survey landed and it ranked for the second year in, the row, in a row, Postgres as the number one database used out there. And I think it's interesting to see because it slowly rose to that position over many, many years, but now it's safe there and it's kind of the de facto backend for web applications and software in general right now. And I really see it as uh, the two sides of the same coin, <laughs> actually. One side is ClickHouse, which is the analytical kind of open source database. And the other side is Postgres, the transactional database. And whatever we can do to bridge the gap between the two will bring a lot of value for users. So they run their transactional workload. They have a sync in place, an efficient and performant and reliable sync in place to their analytical data stores, which means they can unlock more use cases. They can bring real-time analytics into their app or to their internal users, and they can break free from constraint models where data engineering is slowing them down. Okay, and so Sai, for the naive viewer, uh, they might think well, change data capture or CDC, it's a, it's a solved problem already. Can't I just put Debezium there and I'm done? So maybe you can explain uh, what, why isn't it as straightforward as doing that? Very good question. So CDC is a hard problem and I don't know whether it will ever be solved because of the premise of databases are complex and databases are evolving. Let's take Postgres, right? Like uh, Postgres has this concept of logical replication, which powers like a CDC. And there are a bunch of like nuances around log logical replication, which needs to be handled well for building like a fast and a reliable like uh, CDC uh, experience. And I wrote this blog long time ago, which talks about overcoming pitfalls of uh, Postgres logical replication, which gets into detail of all these nuances, right? And, and the only way CDC can be solved is by uh, having laser focus on a data source, right? Like you cannot like uh, say that I'll support like hundreds of connectors and you uh, uh, build like a finished product which scales, right? And that is the philosophy with which PRDB has operated where like we took Postgres as the source and we tried to nail each and every nuance, right? 
to provide that kind of like you know speed reliability data type richness and like a bunch of features that we uh, that pdb comes with got it okay so from uh, existing pdb users uh, what's going to happen now so will they still will it still be possible for example to send data to destinations other than clickhouse or what's going to happen there as a part of this acquisition there were a bunch of like product decisions that were taken to make sure that like existing customers are not affected right so a few of them include number one uh, pdb will remain with the same uh, license that is number one number two the hosted offering uh, the, the, the self hosted offering of pdb called pdb enterprise which comes with uh, uh, kubernetes helm charts will also be with the elv2 license and uh, this is to enable customers run production grade workloads of pdb uh, right that is number two and number three is uh, uh, basically uh, the hosted version right like which is uh, pdb cloud uh, would as of now only support clickhouse cloud as the uh, target data store right from this announcement for any customer who wants to use uh, uh, pdb uh, to replicate data to other target connectors they can still use uh, the enterprise offering or the open source offering which which both of them are like now open source basically so the uh, this is what is going to be for like customers who want to uh, use pdb for non clickhouse uh, target smart so Okay, and then Riyad, from the perspective of ClickHouse Cloud, how is this all going to look over there? Yeah, so in ClickHouse Cloud, we have a, a kind of service to load your data into your ClickHouse Cloud database, and it's called ClickPipes. Think of it as an ETL, but that knows only ClickHouse Cloud. It's very dedicated. It supports things like Kafka, all flavors of object storage, Kinesis. And now we will add a new connector there for PostgreSQL CDC, use case and you might have guessed already <laughs> it will be powered by PeerDB. Uh, going into that project we actually evaluated probably 30 to 40 solutions for that and we settled on PeerDB because it was way ahead in performance and reliability and we're pretty excited about providing this. This will take some time to build and integrate with the rest of the ecosystem so I'm happy to say that we can already accept users on the existing PDB cloud, as I just mentioned, they can sign up as of today and give it a try. And once the ClickPipes counterpart is ready, they can move their uh, ETL streams there. And as I said, there's many, many data coins. So not just Postgres and ClickHouse, there's other databases out there. So we look into expanding the connectors lists once we secure uh, Postgres CDC. MySQL is an obvious uh, kind of choice for the next one, but we won't stop there. We'll see what users need. We already got feedback for cloud data warehouses and many others, and we'll prioritize based on the feedback we're getting. So don't hesitate to let us know what you want to see next. Cool. That sounds like some, uh, some exciting times, especially for ClickHouse and Postgres users. So thanks to both of you, Sai and, and Riyadh. And I guess we'll probably make some more videos showing uh, how to do stuff with Postgres and ClickHouse going forward. Otherwise, we'll see you all uh, in the next videos.